stunning testimony today at the trial of the man accused of killing six-year-old Aton Pates. At least three people say Pedro Hernandez confessed to the crime, one of them his ex-wife. CBS 2's Jessica Schneider was there when she took the stand. Daisy Rivera recounted how she first met Pedro Hernandez in the early 1980s. She was just 16 years old. Before they wed, she said he made a shocking confession. Hernandez told her a Spanish-looking boy had approached him and he felt violated. She testified, he said it got out of hand and he put his hands around the person's neck and strangled him. Daisy Rivera said she was so young and didn't know whether to believe him. But soon after, she found part of Aton Pates' missing poster in her husband's thing. Rivera cried in court when the prosecutor showed her a copy of the poster saying, I never forgot that face. But Rivera insisted she never connected her ex-husband's confession to the missing poster until police interviewed her in 2012. The jury also heard from Pedro Hernandez's brother-in-law, Jose Lopez, who turned him into police in 2012. Lopez admits he only heard the confessions from members of his church group and never Hernandez himself. Defense attorney Harvey Fishbein says these varying stories only go to prove his client's mental illness. On Tuesday, the jury is scheduled to hear the confession Pedro Hernandez made to detectives in 2012. All of it captured in a three hour video, but Hernandez's attorney maintains it was a false confession. In Lower Manhattan, Jessica Schneider, CBS 2 News.